Hello everybody. This is a, a video tutorial for all you um, old school magnetic fluorescent lovers out there, but uh, Suzuki R122 especially. He asked me how does one install a rapid start high power factor magnetic ballast in a fixture. Well, this is how you do it. This is our uh, tutorial fixture here. I'm going to remove the cover. This fixture already has the ballast installed in it. I'm just going to show the how to wire it. Here is our uh, ballast in question. It is my one of my uh, new old stock advanced Mark III ballasts. They're actually very simple to wire. The uh, white and black wires, which are the power wires that hook to your power supply. White is the neutral, black is the hot, so they would go to the corresponding wires on your power cord. And here's our power cord. Just got an inline switch on it. On the uh, red and blue wire side, both red wires go to one lamp holder as shown. And both blue wires go to the other lamp holder. That these, the, the reason there are two wires there is because that provides the filament heating voltage necessary to start the lamps, which is what makes rapid start ballasts better than instant start ones because they heat the cathodes prior to striking the arc in the fluorescent tubes. So rather than thermal shocking them by blasting them awake, like those awful instant start lamp murderer ballasts do, they, they gently bring them to life. But over here on the uh, yellow wire side, you have the two yellow wires. These provide the filament heating voltage to the other side. So you have two wires coming here. I have a, a white one and a blue one because they were the ones inside the fixture. And on the uh, yellow end stop side, it's um, just a simple parallel circuit that heats the filaments on the other side. Just wire nutted together. And most shop lights are actually have um, holes drilled in them to um, accept the larger size of high power factor ballast because those are longer in physical size than the little piece of shit ballasts that shop lights come with. As far as mounting, it's very simple. Just the tab, mounting tab on one side slides under the bracket. Then you just have a small nut and bolt that holds the other side down. So I hope this uh, video on how to install a ballast was helpful. See y'all later.